want to follow on from my exchange with Ratisha Faradkar at Leaders last week. I don't understand, I can't understand why we are taking this road and why we are jeopardising our good name. A good name that came from, first of all, our neutrality, our involvement in UN mandated peacekeeping missions, and also our good name came from our development voice, which has been non aligned, it has been impartial, and it has been humanitarian focused. Why are we allowing ourselves to be drawn into this increasing securitisation, militarisation agenda of the EU? And of course, it started with Shannon, 3 million troops through there, the military equipment in Shannon, into PESCO, and now this agenda of PESCO is being compatible with NATO. Um, that European report, which was overwhelmingly agreed by the EU, EU Parliament, that the EU should be capable of launching autonomous military missions. The EU army will be a proxy of NATO, and Ireland is not a member of NATO. The Taoiseach referred to his, 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 his visit to Mali, but that mission, that EU mission in Mali, is propping up France's colonial powers there, their former colony, and it's no coincidence that um, Mali has plenty of uranium deposits which France needs. So how is that development work, that voice that we have, that respected voice, compatible with being part of a European Defence Agency project? Now, the Taoiseach's reply referenced the need for a secure environment for that work to happen. I agree. Everybody should be able to live in a conflict-free environment. He didn't see any conflict between being involved in peacekeeping on one hand and international development on the other. That's fine. There's no conflict between peacekeeping and development work. But being part of, a EU, of an EU army is not peacekeeping. PESCO is about enhanced military collaboration and why. Regarding the cost, we were told that there's no extra spending, but yes, we're also told, and I quote, that future spending in this area may change as capabilities are developed through PESCO projects. NATO's goal, of course, is for member states to spend 2% of GDP on defence, and that's where we are heading. The discussion paper by four um, Euro MEPs from Fine Gael Party defending our common European home. Who are we defending it from? Who is invading us? You know, and that paper was certainly wanting to move Ireland to weakening our policy of neutrality. And this is all being done without any real discussion here, and certainly no discussion with the electorate.